We're living in an age where the concept of curing cancer, infectious disease, and even aging no longer seems absurd. We know that there are answers to these problems. We just haven't found them yet. But the question that keeps me awake at night is, are we good enough to find those answers? What if our greatest minds are just not good enough? What if collectively, the 9.8 million metric tons of human brain on Earth is just not good enough? What I'm going to tell you, well, it's uncomfortable to hear. Human creativity, namely our ability to develop new art, ideas, materials, and therapies, is shackled by the limits of human intelligence. There are problems that, as a species, we are intellectually incapable of fully grasping. And there are diseases that, without help, we will not be able to cure. But there is also reason for hope. We have begun to develop autonomous machines with the ability to iteratively learn through conducting their own scientific experiments. These silicon scientists will enable us to break through a cognitive barrier that we're only just beginning to realize existed. In this future, we will harness new therapies that we do not, or even cannot, fully understand. In an age where understanding is our greatest priority, depending so much on machines can feel uncomfortable. Yet I believe that across the breadth of human invention, this is our future. And if we are to cure seemingly incurable diseases, then we will need to redefine our relationship with artificial intelligence, with both humility and with hope.